All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you'll be notified of all videos that I post. Let's get down to it. All right, we'll be going around doing more quests in the Traverse. You want to get all these quests done first, so then um, you get more experience, which leads to more levels, which makes you stronger. You get more credits, so you can buy better equipment. So, the game would hurry up and fucking load. There we go. I need to check the equipment. I need to make sure nobody needs an Avenger. So down the stairs we go. I love the de I just love the detail that EA and BioWare put into like the doors and stuff with all the scuff marks and all that. I mean that's just impressive what they were able to do with the legendary edition here. This game didn't look near as good when it first came out. It actually had a lot of bugs to it, actually. Let's go to the lockers and see if anyone needs why are you loading? Stupid. Okay. You needs... an Avenger. A heat sink. Heat sink, okay. Rex. You can use a heat sink instead. There you go. There we go. We got the pistol set up for Shepard. Okay, so everything else can be sold. Junk, 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 junk. That improves sighting and ran. Okay, so we'll keep one E. No, we need two each. Okay. Storms. Okay, so we'll keep those three for now. Riker, I know, isn't very good. Ryos. Keep that and get rid of that. Okay. But we can get rid of the medium and light. Heavy.
Okay. Okay. We'll sell all the junk. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, it's a rare. Um, the rare. Really nothing. So I guess we can buy that sniper rifle, that rare sniper rifle. Okay. Bam. Yeah, but it's better. Okay. So we'll just put a recoil dampener on it instead. There we go. Three away. You can have Reaper 4. And you can have that. There you go. Okay, then we'll talk to everybody. Commander, good to see you. Commander? We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. Shepard? Rex? Nobody wants to talk, okay. So we'll just go and do more missions then. So. We'll come up here. No, excuse me. I need to sneeze. Okay. Actually, we'll save that one. We'll go to the strange transmission. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Edda cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. 
Okay, so we'll investigate the... Um... The cluster here, or galaxy, or whatever. Check your asteroid belt, make sure there's nothing here, which there is. Okay. And a League of One medallion, so we'll get all that. We're gonna land. And who do I want to bring with me? You know what? I'll bring my two Alliance guys with me. Ashley and Caden. Since we're dealing with an Alliance uh, Major, that would make more sense. Really? Why is this game lagging so bad? I don't understand it. Why is this game lagging so bad? Okay, we got everything good for you. Okay. So map we go. I want to check out that warning. What the hell's over here that they're warning me about? Is it another Thresher Maw? It is! I didn't know there was a Thresher Maw here! All the years of playing this game, I never knew there was a Thresher Maw here! Wow. Yeah, I never knew there was a Thresher Maw here. I leveled up for it too. Nice, I never knew there was a Thresher Maw here. Sweet. Um, what do I wanna do, pistols? Looks like that's what I'm going to do there. We'll do combat armor for you just to get your heavy and advanced shield boost. Okay. There we go. That, that's awesome. I never knew there was a Thresher Maw here. Huh. All these years I've played this game and I've never known there was a Thresher Maw on this planet. Well, this moon, technically. Wow! That's really cool! You know, it's just so cool finding stuff in games that you've played for a long time and never knew. It, it, it's really cool. It's like, for example, I've been playing Parasite Eve 2 offline, and um, I've watched 
carcinogen SDA's video on it, the no damage and yeah, the no damage and kill all run. And listening to his um, ex explanation of the um, listening to his explanation of the mechanics of the game, it just makes me want to play it. You know, it's really neat. Out of the way, Caden. There we go. Incinerary explosive. Sweet. I need that for my um grenades. This does ten percent damage with ten percent. Yeah, fuck that. We'll do incinerary. All right. On we go. To the next anomaly. There we go. I remember the first time I played this game, I had such a hard time driving the Mako. I really did. And I'd get killed by the Thresher Maws that I'd never even fight the Thresher Maws until I figured it out how to do it. I remember when the dual stick controls first became a thing, it was on the PS2. The first game I ever played that had the dual stick controls was, um, was it Nom 67? I can't remember what it was, but I, re I do remember it was a game on the uh, PS2. And I remember I had such a hard time playing it, too. Kill them all! There we got a Discovery, even though we didn't get anything out of it. Alright. I do love this add-on, or this mod that, um... Shows you where everything is on the map. It, it They should have just showed you where everything was on the map. Instead of making you look for the deposits and stuff like that. Screw that, man. That doesn't add to the gameplay. It's just annoying, you know? Oh, shit. There we go. Damn it. There we go. Medical interface. Nice. Well, we'll keep it. Those shock absorbers I want to keep because I don't want to fall victim to throw or, um, yeah, to throw. Okay, we're going to go to the uranium deposit first, and then we'll get the gold deposit and go to the compound. Alright. This game is so much fun when you start um, upgrading your equipment and all that kind of stuff. It really is. Now that I know how to upgrade equipment and all that, it, it is. It's so much fun. So up the mountain we go. Didn't have much trouble on this one.
Oh, is this the one where we gotta stay up top? Yeah, it is. Shit, I didn't realize you gotta stay up top. There we go. it is it up there some of these I kind of question why they put them where they did because it's really hard to get to some of them it really is like this one, for example, it's so freaking hard to get to. You gotta stay up top just to get to it, and then... You find that it's not up here. What the hell is it? This is what makes me mad right here because they say it's here, but it's not. There it is. Shit. It blends with the There we go. There. Shit, that was hard. Alright. Now we can go to the gold deposit. Don't make me go all the way down. It's what I can't stand about this game, too. I mean, this game still has flaws, even in the Legendary Edition. This being one of them. I mean, I wish they would have made this where the Mako could just go up and over anything, you know? So you didn't have to drive around looking for the paths and all that. Screw that, man. It This doesn't make the game fun. It just makes it annoying. It's like with Parasite Eve, too. I'm at the part where I'm getting ready to fight number nine on the roof of the Acropolis Tower. Which, I mean, number nine's not hard to fight. It's what happens next in the game. You go to Dry Field and you have to fight chasers. And chasers are not fun to fight because you have to constantly move to keep, keep them from hitting you. They're just annoying to fight, they're not fun to fight, and it really doesn't help that Dryfield has tight borders to fight in too, so But you get better weapons in Dryfield though, but that you know. Oh well. There we go. Shit. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
We'll park the Mako in between these two buildings. And you have to go in the big one first. But there's a little built little shed here on the outside. That has a medical kit in it. Which big whoop, but oh well. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Okay, so by doing this, you don't have to fight the biotics. But, if you don't fight the biotics, you don't get experience, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to be peaceful about this. Okay. See, the biotics are being cool. Here's a locker I can open. Ooh, a thunder assault rifle. A tsunami, too. Nice. What's better? Thunder it is. Tsunami would be better for Miss Williams. There you go. Oh. Technician's kit, a shield modulator, another stupid cryo explosion. I mean, it'd be nice to snap freeze enemies, proton rounds, high explosive. Let's take a look at that high explosive. Does 19% damage with 19%. We'll try them out for a while. And we might use the proton rounds. For Shepard. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace. But I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on.
Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack, and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the Fifth Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Okay. So we dealt with that peacefully. Because I am a, pa a pacifist. Except for the Gath, they deserve bullets in their heads. We'll take that medical kit. Okay, we can get out of here. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed, Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Well, that deserves another commendation, doesn't it, Mr. or Admiral Hackett? Hepler <laughs> Verge. Wonder. Okay, so we'll do Attican Bay first. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Okay, so we're going to explore the galaxy here. And for some reason, the planet we're going to gives me trouble. It crashes my graphics card sometimes. So I need to save. And then I'm going to need to... Um, I'm going to need to stop the recording and restart it. So then I don't lose any um, progress or any of the video footage. So I'll be back when I restart the um, recording. All right, I'm back, everybody. I saved my progress, and I, um, I manually saved, and then I, um, cut off the video and restarted the recording, so now I won't lose any footage, because this planet I'm going to seems to give me problems with my <laughs> graphics card. And I don't understand why I have the game set on the lowest settings I just turned off the image sharpening for um for the um, AMD graphics card because I have a weak graphics card I have all the extra features the extra options turned off for the game and I have the 
um, frame rate cap set to 30. So we should be good to go. You know, I'm actually kind of thinking um, if this keeps giving me problems, I'm just going to have to give up on this because um, I just can't keep fighting this. You're just in denial at that point because if it's not going to work, it's just not going to work. You know, you can do everything you can to try to make it work, but the problem is it's just you don't have the right equipment for it. And that's why I'd love to get a PS5, the disc edition, and get me a copy of this on PS4. That way then I can play this on a PS5, record it, and not have to worry about the equipment malfunctioning. Because there's no way I'd be able to download this game off the PlayStation Network. It's too big of a game to download for my internet speed. Alright, I'm not going to read this. Pretty much what's happening is, you've discovered that the Protheans were, um, observing the, um, primitive humans. So, I'm going to keep this up for a few seconds. You can pause to read this. It pretty much just explains that, um, they were... The Protheans were examining the primitive humans. We don't know why, and it's a mystery we'll never solve. I know what people are saying to, oh, if you're having problems with this planet, why don't you skip it? Well, the problem is, it's a mission for Admiral Hackett, and you get experience for doing it. And I shouldn't have to skip parts of the game just because I can't get it to render right, or I can't, you know what I mean? I shouldn't have to. I'm not going to accept failure, okay? And that's what people are telling me every time they say, oh, well, you just need to give up, or you just need to skip this, or you need to do this, or that. That's, make, that's telling me to give up. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I mean, my parents were that way, too, when growing up. I mean, they would say, oh, just give up, just give up. You can't do it. You can't do it. Well, they were telling me to accept failure. And I'm sorry, you just don't teach your kids that. You just don't. And really, I'm, I'm in no mood to fight PC games anymore. I mean, really, this is why I want to go back to console. Because at least the consoles, you know the equipment's right and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about replacing components and making sure they're right and all that kind of stuff.
Heads up! There. Okay. Sometimes you just have to give up on these. Like this one. I'm not going to get this one either. There we go. I did get it that time. Where's my fucking... There it is. There we go. I explosive five. I want to put that on. For my grenade. I got four. I need five. There we go. We'll save here. Just in case. What the problem is, too, with these games, every time they, um, patch them, they always, like, upgrade the graphics to them, too. And that's why, again, I want to go to, um... I want to go to console. Because I, I do firmly believe some of these games, they are not meant for PC. They really aren't. Like the old classic games, they were built for PC. But these newer games like this, I honestly do not believe they were built for PC. we go and we leveled up pistols and shotguns for you we'll get you to There we go. And we'll learn first aid for you, Tally. There we go. We'll save again just to... We don't have to do that all over again. There's no need for it. We can... If we have a problem, I can just restart where I was. This is the surveillance drone. 
But where's the data module? Oh, this will be fun. Okay. Monkey colony, monkey colony, monkey colony. It's the center one you want to go to. You don't have to go to all three. They want you to go to all three, but you don't have to. And I'm going to save a safety save again, just in case. Just in case. And there's no need to climb over the mountain. You can just drive over, you can just drive around it. You can kill the monkeys to see if they have the see if they drop the module, but you'll get renegade every time you do it. I guess you do have to climb the mountain some. And I do believe you do have to check the uh, surveillance drone. Just so you can get them to say, oh, uh, the monkey like creature took it. There we go. We're going to safety save again, just in case. Now, none of the monkeys out here have it. You can search them, but none of them have it. It's all there. It's in the mine. It's in the mine. It's deep in the mine, actually. Kessler, Hurricane, and that, okay. This Tally Zora may need that. No, she doesn't. But she has an upgraded edge, though. You can have an improved sighting, why not? And then you get the better one. And you will get the better hammer. There you go. Yeah, none of these monkeys here have the uh, drone. It's all the way down in the mine. But I want to explore first to look for items. Which doesn't look like there is any, so I want to go in here first. They dropped the data module. There it is. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker should be able to transmit this info to Alliance Command. A scimitar and a thunder. All right. Yoink. You. Uh. 
All right, cool. So now the doors are closed. We'll need our... I don't know why Shepard does that every time I equip new weapons. He'll switch to his sniper rifle, and I don't understand why. Got him in the head. Got him. Raptor. There. Nothing. But you use one, so you can have a Raptor, Mr. Garrus. I think we're good, Shepard. Okay. Nice, Scorpion Four. Armor, but it's not the rare one. Okay, or the limited one, whatever it is. All right, we got everything done. Sweet, 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 sweet. Now we can get out of here. Okay, we can get the hell out of here. Okay. We're going to do the hostile takeover next. But there's an anomaly over here. We're also going to take care of. And then we'll take care of that blank one. And then we'll take care of the hostile takeover. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies. Their freighter sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. Okay, we're gonna make sure everything's good in this galaxy, and then we'll... Get on the freighter and deal with these biotic fanatics.
Okay. Now, we'll probably need either Rex or... No, we'll take Caden for this one. Caden and... No. You need Tally. You need Tally because she's your expert. She's your expert. There we go. Another raptor. Okay. You go. All right, that should be all of them. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please. I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? I'm an L2, like you. Trust me. The commander can make sure that Burns follows through. Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Okay. Now we can go around the ship, check for items. Excuse me. An exoskeleton? What's that do? 
tornado and a stiletto. There you go. There you go. And what that exoskeleton do? I meant to look at it. There we go. There, we'll put an exoskeleton on. Biotics can be a pain in the ass to kill because they can throw you down to the floor. Okay, we'll leave here. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. All right, we got a note in our file. Oh, well, we went too far. We want to go here. Which I'm sure Admiral Hackett will have something for us. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology. Cool, we got this message. Missions. Mission. The VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. Okay. The FBI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute. I just want to check this galaxy out. Make sure we're good. I think we are, but let's just make sure. If we don't find anything, we're good. And it looks like we are, actually. So we'll go deal with that mission first, and then we'll... We go to our local cluster here in the Soul Galaxy. There's nothing to find here, so just head to Luna. And we need Garrison Tally. Or no. We'll take... No, no, we'll take Gears. We'll take Gears. He's more badass, I think. Yep. 
Okay. Map. You go here. Another set of proton rounds and incinerary explosives. There you go. Now, it do you have to deal with all three of these uh, buildings at the compound. It doesn't matter which one which one you go in first, it just matters that you go to all three of them. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. We'll get our charm. A shotgun. You only get one point now. Okay. We'll do damping for a tally. There we go. I always like taking out the turrets first. That way then I don't have to worry about them when I go into the buildings. I'm just looking for items, which there's one right here. Which doesn't look like I'm gonna. Oh, I got it. Never mind. Equalizer. Isn't that better than the one Garrus has? It is. Nice. A Ryko? Ooh! Armor for Tally! Please let it be better for Tally. A little better, not much, but a little better. Ryko doesn't quite do as much. There you go. You can have that Ryko. Okay.
Caught them all. Look at that. Didn't have much trouble either. <laughs> nice. Usually I have to retreat sometimes, but I didn't have to this time. Now you have to destroy all four of these VI conduits. Seven shots is what it takes. Seven. One, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then you have to go to the other side and do the four on that side, too. And you have to do that for all three buildings. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay. So now we can go on to the next building. Okay. On to the next building. in armor. We'll take a look at that, too. Ulus doesn't do shit. And you are not really that great, either. But we can get rid of you. And you. Alright. Leveled up again. Shotguns for Mr. Shepard. Get your advanced overload for you, Mr. Garris. And Miss Tally gets her damping for another point. Ooh, kinetic stabler. That'll be for. You kinetic stabilizer. You need a rail extension. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now this is where this mission gets kind of stupid. You'll see here in a second why I kind of don't like this mission. Kinetic barrier fields powering up throughout the, the entire bunker complex. I hate this crap because now you gotta shoot through barriers just to get get to places. But if you're good, you can shoot around the barriers to get these. Garrus wasn't in my way. There we go. See, but now you gotta shoot through. Oh, nice. It didn't take very much. Okay. There we go. Oh, I forgot. We need to shoot a couple more barriers, don't we? There we go. And we may as well just leave the guns out, because we'll need them here in a minute anyway. Okay. We'll check Rex out when we get back. There we go. Another kinetic stabilizer. We'll need that, maybe. A Tornado 5. Which is a little better than the uh, hurricane or shimitar, whatever I had. There we go. There, we got them all. They grouped up on me and I got them all. <laughs> Hell yeah. And so now we got to deal with additional security drones, which it's only three of them, but still, it's more experience. Oh, only two of them's gonna group up. Oh, 
always get rid of the red one first because it's a rocket drone. There we go. So for doing this quest, you unlock your specialization class. It'll rec it'll replace your actual class, soldier, engineer, whatever class you are, and you get to pick which one you want. So you get either shock trooper or commando for soldier, and shock troopers are highly trained killing machines. Shock troopers excel in all combat situations. It increases health, damage protection, improves immunity or barrier ability, and improves the adrenaline ability. And commando, commandos rely on lethal efficiency and precision strikes rather than brute force to eliminate their opponents. Increased damage with all weapons, improves immunity ability, improves marksman ability, and improves assassination ability. Well, we're going to do shock trooper because I, I'm just going to do this through brute force. And I think. You need a rail extension. All right, now we're ready to do the um, hostile takeover quest. And then we'll explore a few galaxies that we've... Well, actually, let's explore the galaxies first, and then we'll do the um, hostile takeover. Okay. Okay. These are just extra quests that you can do for Admiral Hackett which I'm going to do just so I can um, get free experience. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It's in the Voyager cluster? That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. 
their fleet out. Okay, we leveled up. Nice. So. We'll get our shock trooper up. Just so we can get some more weapon damage and all that. bring Rex out because I need to check him out. Let's safety save just in case. And I'll be right back and restart the recording again. All right, I'm back, everybody. We'll get your shotguns up. We'll learn your throw. We'll learn your stasis. We'll get your immunity. Combat armor and two fitness damping okay we gotta check Rex okay Raptors even better Tsunami's a tad better you can go 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 Proton rounds. Shotguns. Atana. Okay. You could take incinerary rounds. Okay. Nice, a Scorpion Four. Sweet. You can have Exoskeleton. Okay.
Okay. There we go. All right. Got that one. Nice. Cool. Sorry I'm not talking a lot here. Um, I'm just kind of concerned something might happen here with the graphics card, but so far everything's working good. I did save beforehand, and I did restart the recording. So just in case, so I don't lose anything, so... No, I, you know, I went grocery shopping, you saw me eat something, it was a, um, coconut macaroon. It's not, they're not bad, there's just a small little thing of them, there was only six of them in a pack. I got some strawberry ice cream too while I was at the store. Strawberry is my favorite. I'm I'm not really a fan of chocolate anymore. And yes, there's chocolate on these macaroons, but you I don't taste the chocolate. You know, I I don't know why. I just cannot stand the taste of chocolate as much anymore. I mean, I'll eat it once in a while, but when it comes to um, eating chocolate all the time I, I just can't do it anymore I mean a lot of it my blood sugar but um, but also I just don't have the taste for chocolate anymore I, I just don't when I get candy I would rather have the fruity candy than the chocolate you know for ice cream I'd rather have strawberry than or vanilla than chocolate For cookies, I, I'm planning on making cookies this weekend. Um, I got the stuff to make um, oatmeal raisin. You know what I'd like to do for ice cream? Instead of buying it at the store, I'd rather get an ice cream maker and get the stuff to make my own ice cream. There's just something about homemade ice cream that just tastes so much better than the store-bought stuff. I've been looking at ice cream makers on Amazon. Um, there's, a, there's a pretty nice one that's electric it looks like a wooden barrel and um, I'm thinking of getting it oh we're missing so there it is okay
There we go. Okay. Next. We'll get this debris. Better rounds and Callie Zora, she needs incinerary rounds for a shot or no. You need nothing for your incinerary rounds. And you Gonna have the shredder rounds. Or I think the shredder rounds. Tungsten, that's what we need. Tungsten. There we go. And then what do you have for your shotgun? We'll get you some incinerary rounds. There we go. And you have okay, good. I don't know why, but the song from Hey Arnold, The Simple Things is stuck in my head. What's really cool about that song and that episode is Randy Travis actually sang the song and he actually voiced in the episode. They actually made a character that looked like Randy Travis and he voiced that character. And it was Mr. Wynn that, um... It was Mr. Wynn that would sing the simple things. I can't get out of here. I may have to leave and come back because... What was it about this game that they decided to make it so freaking hard to get around, you know? Yeah, I, I'm going to have to probably leave and come back because 
I, I can't get out of here. Yeah. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Yeah, I may have to leave and come back because there's just there's just no way through this. There we go. Fuck. coming from a mine? This smells. I agree. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Right. Okay, so there's nothing really to fight in this mine. So they pretty much lead you to where you need to go. You need to go all the way down here. Oh! That was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <coughs> Shepard, at last. You have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. <laughs> No matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I've fought. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. Failed because of you. Your damnable holding action. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead man. 
Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We've got air and light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. There's one hard point. There's two hard points. There's three hard points. You get way more than enough time to do it. They only give you 10 seconds, but it's it, the timer stops every time you activate a hard point. So really, you get more than enough time to do it. And here's your other way out, right here. Okay, so now I actually want to get my sniper rifle for once. And you just come straight out this way. was the last of them. Huh. Oh, it can't be. I will destroy you! Boom. Okay. What do I have equipped on my sniper rifle? They did not it did not take anything out. Ooh, a guardian heavy armor. Let's see what it does. Nothing. Okay. Hammerhead three and a Kania. Okay. Area secured. I don't know if you need to be in the Mako to get back into the Normandy for this mission or not, but I just do it anyway, just in case. There's a thread on my shirt. There we go. Okay. We got you dealt with. Armstrong. Coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Hatching it through. Normandy. Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. It could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this, Shepard. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Okay, so now you gotta go to all four of these. There's outposts on all four.
It doesn't matter which ones you go to first. It just matters that you go to all four. And it... I, I don't even think it matters story-wise either which ones you go to. So we'll take Caden and Tally since we're fighting Geth. There we got left. Okay. Let's see what's over here. No, one thing I've put on my Christmas list this year, and I know I'm going to get it, um, I'm getting one of those personal blenders. It's a 14 ounce personal blender, so I can make smoothies. The smoothies sound pretty good, actually. And the grocery store I go to, they sell the fresh fruit. Like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. A raspberry smoothie would be good, I think. Okay, so you find this odd skull, and come to find out, um, if you read the description of this planet, um, it says people come to this planet because they're bored and they'll take um, animals from other planets and they'll drop them off on this planet and watch them fight. And that's why this skull, that skull was there and it's from off world. Another medical interface and a combat scanner. Boom. There we go. We got some incinerary rounds for you, too. There we go. You leave. I'll follow. Okay.
Okay, so now we're close to the outpost. But I want to get this ore before I go up and deal with the outpost. There we go. There we go. And then, okay. All righty. So we don't need to mark the map because I know where I'm going. Boom. Boom, there we go, cool. Oh, we need to get into the Mako for this. The Colossus you don't screw around with. One down, three to go. Nice, we got a level too. Kinetic buffer. That I think goes to Tally. Let me see. No, it doesn't. Or maybe it does. Yeah, it does. You get one. Caden gets one. We'll, mo we'll max out Shock Trooper for Shepard, not this time, but we will next level. We got advanced stamping now, and then we need to do hacking for Allie. Okay. There we go. Okay. Next world.
Okay. And then we'll go land on this world. We'll swap out Caden for Garrus so we can level him up. Okay, up, up, up we go for this anomaly. No, don't go down there. Don't go down there. There we go. Okay, ooh, incinerary rounds. Upgrade, nice. There we go. Next one. Here we go.
There we go. Now, I used to, I used to think there was nothing here, but actually there is. It's right here. You get to turn off the geth comms. So now that we did that, now we can go pick up the rest of the stuff for more experience and credits. Always go go around, pick up your stuff, man. Always do it. Always do it. Because it's free experience. It's free money. It's free credits, you know? See, this is what I can't stand. You set up a um, marker. And you can't get to it because of the crap that um, there's jamming. So you got to deal with this first just so you can... We gotta back off. This is how you deal with the Geth ship. Because I'm far enough away, it won't shoot at me. Don't waste your time shooting the uh, um shooting the machine gun at the gas ship. You just shoot missiles at it. Boom. Is that all of them? That can't be all of them. Sure as shit it is. And we leveled up again. <laughs> nice. Shock Trooper. Vector Training. Camping for you. Hacking for you. Yep, that's all of them. Wow. 
And Miss Tally Zora, she gets an upgrade to her tungsten. Okay. We're ready to head over to the... See, I knew there was another set of them. I knew there was another set of them. I knew there was. There. Now we can get up here, get the ore. Nice, I landed right near it too. <laughs> nice. Alright. Perfect. We got them all. Okay, two more outposts to go. These two, I think, are the easiest ones. Check your asteroid belt for that reason right there. No, you know, I, I get watching a lot of these men's rights activists, and you know what drives me nuts about them is a lot of them just sit there and argue with each other. Like, just pearly things. I mean, she makes some sense, but then when you sit down and think about it, all she's doing is appealing to her audience. Like, she's going around saying, oh, we need to ban divorce, we need to repeal the 19th Amendment, we need to, um, do all that crap. Well, then she, um, then she brings on all these w women who are feminists, just so, um, you know, they can share their opinion, which is fine. But, um, it just gets to the point where all they do is argue with each other, you know? But anyway, um, being this is another planet that I'm kind of worried about, I'm going to um, restart the recording, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, everybody. Just in case, I don't want to, um lose anything. We'll do first aid for Caden. Okay.
way, Tally. Shit. Okay. Got that one. Go to the Mercury. Always get your ores. You never know. You never know how much money or you never know when you're going to level because of it, you know. Not good. I didn't want to fall down here. Okay. Now we can get up and around. There we go. Okay, we got a warning, which means that'll be a Thresher Maw. But we'll fight it, definitely. Kill it. I don't know why, ever since I killed all the sensory tentacles of one of the Thresher Maws, it has not spawned any. None of them have spawned any. So I don't know. Is this the same Thresher Maw that's going from planet to planet? I don't think so, because... It's never established that Thresher Maws are space, are space beings that can travel space. Space travel beings that can travel space. Ooh. We didn't quite get him. Yeah, I don't know if this is a glitch or what, but the Thresher Moss are not bringing out their sensory tentacles. Not that I'm complaining, it's just I'm shocked that they don't do it anymore, and I don't know if it's because I destroyed all the sentry tentacles of one of the Thresher Maws or what, but it's got to be something. There we go, a data disk. Which that's just worth some money and experience. Okay.
There we go. This is so hard to navigate, it really is. Because I hate this jamming shit. I mean, I know they're just trying to make this game a little more realistic that enemies can jam your radars and stuff like that, but I don't know. I mean, they just need to show you where you're going, you know? Rid of that Colossus first. There we go. we get here Ooh, we have a prime we need to get in here Yeah, I was going to say, damn it. There's no enemies here. Mm. There we go. First aid for you. And hacking for you. Equipment. We get a bunch of equipment. Ooh, another... Upgrade the combat sensor. Boom. There we go. Okay. On to the last outpost. And then after this mission, I'm going to have to call it for this video because it's getting pretty late here. Okay. Here we go. The last one. We'll bring Garrison Tally this time. Hey, Garrus needs his damping, so we got it to advance. So now we'll work on his assault training.
God, everything's all spread out in this one. But that's okay, because we're going to get experience, credits, and... All that fun stuff. There we go. And you know what? I might just go ahead and just deal with the outpost first. And then we'll deal with everything else. Kinetic Buffer! Allie gets an upgrade to her Kinetic Buffer! There you go! Sweet! Yeah, go around to the debris and stuff, you never know what you're gonna find! You never know! I remember there was one time I was playing this game and I found a piece of the best armor in the game called the Colossus. And, um, God, I can't remember who it was for. I think it was just a human armor, but still, it it was one of the best armors in the game. And luckily, Shepard needed it. He could use it and needed it. I think it was like a medium armor, and that's all he could wear. It was amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I had found Colossus armor, and it was pretty early in the game, too. I, I think it was right after I got Liara. When you find Colossus armor, you have to get, you just get it. Just get it. You don't, it doesn't matter if you need it or not, get it because it sells for good money. Just lead the way. Okay. Yeah, we'll deal with this death outpost, and then we'll go around getting everything after that. Just easier that way, I think. And I know where we're going. We're going up. And I know there's an easier way to get up here, but fuck it, I'm, I'm just going to go this way. Okay. Is there anything here? Yes, there is. And that looks like all of it. Yeah, no. Hmm. 
Okay. And we leveled up again because of all that. <laughs> nice. We'll do you. And then we'll get warp. Just so we can start doing some damage. And what did I say? Assault training. That's what I said. Hacking for you. Okay. And we'll want to change our bucket. Let's give the shotgun a chance. We haven't ha had the shotgun out yet. Nice job, Garrus. That it of them? It sure is. No, it's not. Because there's more over here. Oh. oh, and the others escaped too, it looks like. Ugh. Ugh. There, that's all of them now. Or I thought it was, I guess it's not. Found a new armor, but it doesn't really help. Photon rounds for the assault rifle. There we go. Get your items. Get your items, because you never know what you're going to find. Let's get the pistol out. Nice job, Garrus. And I got him in the head. Shotgun's gonna be better, I think. What do I have on the shotgun anyway? A rail extension? Okay. Which does more damage, so we'll leave that alone.
This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It must be a message from the primary Geth base. We can use the signal to lock onto its location and take them out. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. That's okay. Now we can just go around and get everything without having to worry about being jammed, you know? There we go. Get that. got more anomalies to get always get them man you never know I mean that this is how you level this is how you level right here this is how you level right here Okay. That was a, an abandoned scavenger camp. Okay, there's a scavenger. They were killed by the Geth, it looks like. All right, cool. We'll go and finish this one off and then I'll call it for this video. It's the moon we're wanting to go to, which we will here in a minute. 
That's what I was looking for. Rocky asteroid. Okay, first aid. I want to get medicine and advanced first aid for Caden. Is it up? Looks like it's up. Yep, it is. It's right here. All right. There we go. Okay, my, um, my armor, my combat armor skill is high enough, I think, that I don't have to worry about level 1 hazards anymore. That's what I'm thinking. And now... We want to get all the ores for our credits. I don't know why, but now I'm thinking about the show My Brother and Me on Nickelodeon. That show was pretty good for what it was. It's just a shame it didn't last very long. It only was like, God, I think it was like only like 13 episodes, I think. 
And I think a lot of the problem was the world, I mean, here in the U.S., I don't think they were ready for black people to be on TV yet, you know, predominantly on TV yet. Which is a shame because um, the family that was in that show, the father was a hard-working father. He was a sports columnist. And the mother was some sort of teacher, like she was a driver's ed teacher or something like that. And they had three kids. Um, Melanie, Alfie, and uh, Dee Dee. And they were good kids. I mean, sure, they got into mischief sometimes, but, you know, what kid doesn't, you know? What kid doesn't get into mischief sometimes? Okay, I'm going to have to deal with... No, maybe not. I'm far enough away. Maybe not. But my brother and me, it got pretty funny sometimes. It was pretty entertaining when it was on. It was like on like 95 and 96, I think, or I can't remember what years exactly it was on, but it was on during Nickelodeon's golden years. That's what I'm planning on doing this Saturday. I'm going to want I found like a compilation of the Nickelodeon Saturday morning ca cartoons or the Saturday morning lineup. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to pour myself a bowl of cereal. I got a box of Fruity Pebbles. I haven't had that in a long time, and I thought that'd be kind of cool to get up and pour myself a bowl of cereal like I used to when I was a kid. I'm sure my doctor won't be happy about it because of all the sugar that's in it, but... Oh, well, she can get over it. It's not like I do this every day, you know? Doing it once in a while is not going to kill me, you know? Okay, another show I'm kind of thinking of too, and this was like 2006, I think it was when this show came out, or 2007, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends on Cartoon Network. That show got pretty funny too. The my favorite. There's two episodes I really like. One episode is um where they had the trading cards. Coco made the trading cards. And Blue wanted to get the entire set, and but Coco wouldn't let him have the entire set because he like called her a name or something like that. <laughs> and my other my other favorite episode, and it's actually I think it's the funniest one, is the one where they have the dare competition. Madam Foster holds a dare competition. Oh, see, there's another one right here. Boom, there we go. And now we'll take my assault rifle. 
This is my rifle. This is my gun. I didn't get that third one. Is that all of them, or is there a fourth one? That might be all of them, actually. Cool, I can switch just by tapping the button. I forgot about that. All right. his ass. Boom! There we go. As the last death falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, a quarian stands before a hush, a hush crowd, warbling a mournful a capella of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the Geth worlds beyond, behind the Perseus Veil. The transmission, the transmitter shuts down. Okay. It's payback time. I don't think there's anything upstairs, but we will check here in a second. There we go. That was what we were looking for, the data. But we will check upstairs to make sure nothing else is upstairs. Nope. All right. I didn't know if there was or not. Okay, so when I get back to the ship, I'm going to have to call up for this video. So, we get to the ship here, we'll let it auto-save, and... Then I'll call it. So, hope you all had fun in this episode. I sure did. I'm going to safety save just in case. Hey, we did level up. I forgot about that. Um... We'll do advance for warp. So anyway, hope you all had fun this episode. I did, and I'll see you all in the next episode.